Right, so these might be interesting to some people. Um, these aren't actually mine, these belong to my father-in-law. He's had these for quite some time, and um, I wanted to power them up and see if they still worked, and he wanted me to sell them if, if they did still work. Um, now, don't be deceived by these. These books aren't actually for these items. Now, these we have. Three FX seven thirty P's. Bit of glare on it. I'll fix that. Um, so condition unknown, not yet powered. Now purchase batteries, which arrived. I actually meant to do this uh, months ago, but um, I've been busy with other things, so I've hardly got some time to sit down and, and mess with these things. So I'm gonna get the batteries out and I'll put them in. And so we go. Now there's a couple of screws that will come out, and uh, we'll see how we go from there. Okay, so here's the batteries. It takes two 2032s and a single 1220. So I thought I'd actually show you pulling the thing apart and going from there. All right, so let's have a go. I've opened these up before because I did actually have some batteries with them. Um, but they were all flat. They're wrapped in tape, and oh, okay, the tape stops and gets shuttled out, sure, but I think the tape also acts as a conductor slightly and um, drains the batteries. I don't know, but it could just be it's been in storage for so long, you know. So, let's pop this off. I think it sort of hooks in or something. Which way does it go? Here we go. Slides downwards. Alright, so there's the Oh, and it's got some kind of pack here. I'm not quite sure what that's for. No idea. Um, battery compartments are here and here. So it's just uh, do these. Just get some space. I'll do these one at a time. So, so I don't even know if these things work. No idea. I'll get into the thing, it'll be good. Right, there we go. Now I'm a bit torn about whether I just test them and then sell them without batteries or whether I um, leave the batteries in. You know, I, I'm inclined just to test and leave the batteries here and not sell them with the batteries. Okay, so that one goes in at least. Because these CRT032s I use in a lot of other things, so I'm, I'm, you know, I'd like to hang on to those. These things here I actually purchased especially for these units, so that's not a size I normally use, so I'm not too worried about them. But, uh, oh, let's see how we go. Does have the, yeah, it does have a tear out. Okay, here we go. In a moment of truth. Now I've got no idea how to use these. I've never even powered these up myself before. There's a little spring there. There's a little spring here as well. So I might put that back on actually. Just in case anything falls out. I don't know what the springs are for. Maybe it's just a shielding or something. I'm not sure. Anyway. Right. Power on. Oh, we have a display. I stick the screws in. It's flopping around a bit. Okay, ready, PO. So these things are supposed to be able to write in basic. Um, well, assembly, assembly language, it says here specifically, right? So, you know, it tells you how to write little programs and things like that. I mean, this book is basically, although it's not meant for this particular unit, um, it allows you to do certain things. I don't know. I wonder if I can write a program in this. It's not something I'm familiar with. Um yeah. I don't know. <laughs> um it's just hex as well, interesting. So I don't know, this 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 is gonna probably have someone drawing all over these things. 
you know how to use these um, obviously it is a calculator you know 5 times 5 25 hey it adds up cool well multiplies so <laughs> that works um, but as far as all this other external extension stuff goes I don't know um, print oh, if I type it correctly it'd be helpful oh it doesn't work print space um, uh, I don't know this has been a long time since I've done anything like this 10 space print print space um, high <laughs> yeah um okay now what ever two yeah I don't know whatever I'll get on I'll get an idea to use this <laughs> but it seems to work um okay so cool if anyone does know how to use one of these you know or maybe someone wants one I am going to be setting these price I don't know yet I'll leave the batteries in what the hell I'll leave the batteries in let's try the next one I really should actually look these up and um, I'll stop it I'll stop the video here and uh, actually before I stop that video I'll do one thing uh, come on pop out Um, they also came with this cable. So this is an interface cable which allows you to plug devices together. Um, I think it only fits one way. Yeah, there we go. So you can plug two devices together <laughs> to do certain functions or transfer programs. I think I don't know, but anyway. So I'm going to stop here and I'll come back after I've tested them all. I've been boring you with all that duplication and I'll see if I can figure out how to do some program on them. Okay, so that's batteries in all of them. So turn them on. And they all work. They all work. So as far as using them goes, I haven't gone into that yet. But um I shall come back hopefully and have a look and see if I can get one to actually do something. I don't know. Um, yeah, I mean, these are personal computers apparently. Um, so, yeah, at least they'll work. That's the main thing. And um, that's got a name scratch in the back there and a slight ding just there, which I might be able to get the light on just there, you see it? Um, really slight. I could probably straighten it out actually and fix it. That one looks fine. This one's got a very slight ding just here. Get the light on it, might be able to see it. Just there. Very small, but I mean, almost nothing. So this one looks like it's a really good neck. And it's also got the cases for them too, so I'll, I'll be... Uh, I'll sell this whole lot as a set, but I'm not quite sure what it would be worth yet. I'll chuck it on eBay and I'll chuck a link up to this. So if anyone's actually interested in buying them, Dave, um, let me know. And... Um, you know, I'll chuck them on eBay and, and sell them. eBay being because it's an international site, I could sell it locally, um, but it's unlikely I'll get a decent price for these compared to what they're going for overseas. You know, so it's just like, uh, I'll put it on eBay and try my luck on there. Okay, so I shall see if I can get one of these things to actually do something. I'll come back. I'll type it to play, hopefully. Right, so I can't actually figure out how to do that uh, programming thing. I mean, it's obviously doable. I just can't get the thing to. Uh, to function, I was, I'm obviously doing it wrong. Um, you have to do like a mode one to do a write, and then you choose memory. Um, so I want to uh, say section one, and then you put in the code you want to do like shift print, and then brackets, for example, like this. But then I'm getting this error eight, so I'm not quite sure what I'm doing wrong, but uh, something obviously. But anyway. Um, yeah, so otherwise they seem to work fine. So, good to I hope you find it interesting.
Right, so here's the eBay listing. I've decided to put this up already and I'll include it in the video. So if you're interested in obtaining these calculators, uh, personal computers as, they, as they're called on the front, um, they're not on eBay. Right, so look me up on there. Um, I've taken the guess at international shipping. It could be more or less. I I just said 60 bucks there. You know, it's going to be that. So I, hopefully that covers it. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know what these are worth roughly. I mean, based on what I've seen for other ones, they're like $100, $150 each New Zealand. So I'm actually being a bit on a conservative side for three with the books and the, and the cable. I haven't seen any cables on there yet. Um, so there you go. So if you want to look at these, then here's the listing number up here. 2019-9284-2472. Right. Um, or you can look up me, the Def Pom NZ, just there. Okay. Um, it's the only item I've got listed, so you should be able to find it. Okay, so uh, if you're interested, go and, go and take a look and bid them or something or make me an offer and I'll see how we go. Catch you later.